One of the things that I've started doing is every single day writing down what you're grateful for. I've noticed people were doing this a lot during uh, the Thanksgiving season, during November, and they were writing down every single day you know, what they're thankful for. That activity, I did that myself a few years ago, and since then, that activity has been something I've done on a regular basis. I haven't been as consistent with it as I'd like to, but it's something I've been really focusing on being more and more consistent with and just trying to focus on what am I grateful for today and not just doing the same things over, like your family. You're always, you know, you're always thankful for your family. You're thankful for God. You're thankful for your friends. Those are things that are consistently, you know, you, you can always rely on in terms of being thankful for those things. But you want to try and push yourself every single day to find something, at least one new thing every single day to be thankful for. It's really important that you just focus on, on staying positive and keeping your mindset right every day because if you fall into that negative way and that glass half empty kind of mindset, it's just going to bring more of that to you. And that's the last thing you want. Um, there's a few different things that have really... Uh, you know, gravitated towards me in terms of things that I've been struggling with and, and looking at. And what I've done in the past, I know if I've vented, you know, when you, when you have a tough day at work, you come home and you talk to your significant other and you just vent about what happened and complain and all of that. But now what I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to focus on, okay, well, what were the positive things that happened throughout the day? What were the upsides of the day? What, let's forget about the negative things. Yeah, I got that stuff off my chest, but let's move on from that. And now let's focus on what the positive things are. There are psychologists that have literally proven by science and, and doing case studies and focus groups of when a, something negative happens to you, you stay down longer than when something positive. When you, you have something positive that happens to you, you do that, that peak. You know, like just say you're an author and you publish a book, you peak out for a couple days or a week or even a few days. And as soon as that, that book is out and it's, it kind of reaches you, you level back out. But when something negative happens, you tend to dip down and you, that attitude of negativity drags you down and it keeps you stuck. So like I said, there's people that are probably feeling this right now and I, don't, I want them to get unstuck. And so even if some other positive things happen, it's really hard to push yourself out of that. So that's where that practice of writing down what you're grateful for every single day. You gotta have one, at least one new thing and just write down a list as long as you can. Just set some time aside, 15, 20 minutes every day to do that. Another thing that I've been guilty of as well, and I'm sure you can relate to this, is don't sabotage yourself. When you make a mistake or if you're, if you're going along and you're moving forward but you make a mistake somewhere and, and you have a problem, some people tend to take and sabotage themselves and take vengeance out on yourself. And that, for me, is something that I feel like comes from the enemy. It's not of God. It's not something that um, is of truth and, and of Him. And so if, if you're focused on Him and what's positive and what's the truth, you're going to be focused on knowing that He's not going to forsake you. And he's, He is out for you in, in a positive way. He's not punishing you. None of those things are happening. That's, that's, God's not a God of vengeance. He doesn't, he doesn't take vengeance on you for those things. Where people start to feel like things are falling apart, maybe they're falling together. And so you just got to really challenge your thinking and challenge the way you're approaching things and try to look at things from the opposite perspective. I think it's, it's really, really important to do that.